Polo. I think everybody in Central Asia knows this dish because it's so famous. In other languages, it's called pilaf, pilaf, and in our Uyghur language, we call it polo. Traditionally, we use lamb for polo recipe, but today we are going to use chicken and use some kebab seasonings such as cumin and paprika because it, it makes the chicken so delicious. And of course, for polo recipe, you can't miss carrots. We consider polo to be king of the table because it's so important to us. We make polo during the different occasions such as friends, friends gatherings and events, festivals and weddings, but also during the funerals. It's a reflection of our Uyghur lives. It's so simple, but at the same time, it's so delicious. Let's get started. I just split the chicken in half so I have a chicken breast and chicken leg. Now we are going to divide the chicken into smaller pieces. Fill the chicken, chicken bones and then cut in joints. So you don't need to chop the bone. Cut the chicken fillet into walnut size smaller pieces. You don't need to remove the chicken bones, but each piece we are going to slice them very gently, not too deep. So all juices, spices will go into there. After cutting, we need to wash the each piece to remove the blood. Don't forget to dry them up with kitchen towel. Press it very gently from the top and let it rest. Traditionally, we use yellow carrots for making polo because they are quite sweet and polo should be slightly sweet. That's why I use for this recipe also yellow carrots. You can combine it with orange carrots or red carrots. Onion, peel off the skin. When we steam the rice, it's very common to use some raisins or dried fruit and vegetables on the top of the rice and steam all the ingredients together. That's why I choose this freshly picked mice. It looks so good. In the meanwhile, we are going to wash the rice. Wash the rice really gently. Use your fingers like this and mix it a few times. Throw away the water. Repeat this process a few times until the water becomes really clear. When the water is clear, let the rice rest in a slightly warm water. Next, let's cut the carrots. We are going to slice the carrots. Each piece is about 4 mm. Stack them up, then cut them into strips. Onion, divide it in two, slice them into half moon shapes. Then divide the mice into smaller pieces as well. As you can see, everything is ready to go into the pan. And I'm going to use a pan with a lid so we can uh, cover it up at the end. About the oil, it's really common to use colza oil. It's also called uh, rapeseed oil. And in Uyghur, we call it kcha meyi. That's why I'm going to use this one as well today. We are going to use the biggest fire. Heat up the oil. When the oil is hot enough, you will see some light smoke from the pan. Then you can add the meat. Be careful with the hot oil, it can splatter. You can use oven glow. Turn it over. Cook the meat until you see some golden edges, like this. 
add the onion. Add salt. When the onions become slightly yellowish and soft, you can add the carrots. Mix all the ingredients once in a while because if you keep mixing all the ingredients, the carrots will break. When the carrots are soft, we are going to add two bowls of cold water. Turn the fire down to medium. I'm going to remove the meat. Add salt, cumin, then add the sugar, mix them. Taste the saltiness. You can pick the sauce from the boiling side to prevent it from the oil. It should be slightly salty. Throw away the water of the rice. Use spatula. Then we are going to add it on the top of the carrots very gently. Press it very gently and make the service even. Don't mix all the ingredients, but only the top of the rice. Make sure the rice is covered by liquid. Bring it to boil. Then turn the fire down a little bit to medium. Cover the lid for about five minutes. In the meanwhile, we are going to use kebab spices for seasoning the chicken, such as salt, just a tiny bit, each piece, then cumin, each piece, and then paprika, again cumin, turn it over. We are going to season the other side as well. So each piece is covered by a layer of cumin, layer of salt, and also paprika. You can decide it by yourself how much paprika powder or cumin you want to use. After about five minutes, this is what it looks like. Turn the fire down to low heat. From the side, we are going to Turn over the rice, but without mixing with carrots, only the rice. And then make the service even. Use chopsticks, make some holes without touching the bottom of the pan. Otherwise, if you touch the bottom of the pan, the rice will go to the bottom and it'll burn. And these little holes, it'll help for steaming the rice evenly. Sprinkle some cumin powder. So it smells really delicious. Place chicken kebabs. Cover it up and let it simmer for about 25 minutes. It's ready! Oh, it looks so good. Use spatula for mix the rice and the carrots from the bottom. Place it on a big plate because we eat polo in a communal way. We share it with friends. of the table polo is ready 
Polo is eaten in a communal way. We share this big plate with friends and family. Every three people can share the one plate. And traditionally, we eat polo with hand, with the right hand. I hope you like this recipe. If you like it, make this recipe. Share it with your family and friends. All in one, this delicious recipe is perfect for events, festival, for everything. Hope you like it. See you next week. Bye.